Hi, I'm Marianne Landry, Technical Marketing Manager for Autodesk. In this Tips and Tricks, I want to show you how you can easily import any types of object from 3ds Max Design into Showcase. You can easily import all sorts of objects created in 3ds Max Design via FBX into Showcase. The main thing that you have to keep in mind is that if your objects are animated in 3ds Max Design, they need to be animated with direct keyframe animation using only either a move, rotate or scale deformation. The other thing you need to keep in mind is that not all materials in 3ds Max Design are recognized by Showcase. For example, on this train, I have apply an architecture and design material, and those materials are not recognized by Showcase. So you might want to change to either an Autodesk material or standard material in 3ds Max Design before you import or reapply your materials once in Showcase. With the train selected, go to the application menu Export Export selected only, which does not display property in this recording, and name this train animated train.fbx2013, and you'll understand why in just a quick second. So when I click save, it will open the FBX properties. The first thing you want to make sure is that the animation is checked on, and the second thing is go under the FBX file formats and make sure that you're selecting the FBX 2013 or earlier version because there was a slight bug in the FBX 2014. And I'll show you what is the difference in between the FBX 2013 and lower and FBX 2014. So quickly, I'm going to redo this action with the train selected again. I'm going to call this one animated train FBX 2014 and export the 2014 version of the FBX and I can show you the difference difference and you understand really clearly what happened when you select the wrong version of FBX. So once in showcase, very simple, I'm going to go to file, import, import file and select first the FBX 2014 so you see why I don't want to do that. So I'm going to go, it's going to go over the converting and import the train. Now the train is not going to show in a scene because it's kind of outside of the scene because you remember this train is animated. So what I'm going to do with the train selected and I'm going to isolate the train only by going to the select menu isolate and I'm going to zoom in to the train by pressing control F and you see that the train is all looking triangulated, black and gray, not looking sexy at all, and not what I was expecting. So this is due to the FBX 2014 version. So this is the slight bug. So this is the reason why you want to use an FBX 2013. So if I load the import status window, I will be able to select this FBX and remove it from my file and therefore deleting it from my scene. So I'm going to go ahead and re-import, import file, and this time I'm going to choose the animated train FBX 2013, and you'll see that this time it comes in my scene nicely and the way that I am expecting it. So again, the train is outside of my scene, my scene a little bit. With the train selected, I'm going to isolate the train and um, zoom onto this train, and you see that my train is properly showing in my scene now. Obviously, the material did not... Uh, translate into showcase so I will have to reapply some material so really quickly I'm going to apply just a glass material so you see that this train was properly imported so I'm going to call my material uh, library and I'm going to choose a showcase material glass and I'm going to apply this glass material onto all the glass of the uh, train and now you see that the train is here and it's really easy to reapply material once in showcase. Now keep in mind that this train was animated in uh, 3ds Max design and the animation was carried away in terms of a behavior so I can play this behavior, include it in my storyboard and the train is animated again. So if I look at my scene, I look at an animated camera that was important in 3ds Max design and I can also play the behavior as part of my scene and I have a very nice and clean train that I can easily reapply the material and I can play the animation that was created in 3ds Max design. So very simple, as long as you keep in mind to change the version to FBX 2013, you will always have a clean model coming from 3ds Max design.